Elon was all over the place today. Another leaked message alleges Model 3 production is on schedule. The NTSB is miffed at Tesla. And Elon has again busted out his sleeping bag. This is Tesla Tidbits, episode number 386 for April 3rd, 2018. We start on Twitter with Twitter user at Tweetermeyer, where a new leaked email has surfaced, this time from Elon. I brought you the story yesterday of Doug Field, we'll get to him later in the show again, sending out a message urging on the troops to reach the production goal the company was hoping for before the end of Q1. The leaked message purportedly from Tesla Insiders was sent at 3.02 a.m. Monday morning, congratulating staff that they'd passed the goal. Here's the message in its entirety. Quote, It has been extremely difficult to pass the 2,000 vehicles per week rate for Model 3, but we are finally there. If things go as planned today, we will comfortably exceed that number over a seven-day period. Moreover, the whole Tesla production system is now on firm foundation for that output, which means we should be able to exceed a combined Model S, X, and 3 production rate of 4,000 vehicles per week and climbing rapidly. This is already double the pace of 2017. By the end of this year, I believe we will be producing vehicles at least four times faster than last year. It took five years to reach the 2,000 per week rate production rate for S and X combined, but only nine months to achieve, achieve that output with Model 3. Mind-blowing progress. Couldn't be more proud to work with you, Elon. End quote. We switch to Inside EVs and later Elon's Twitter to see that the NTSB isn't exactly pleased with Tesla's blog posting updating the world on the status of its investigation into the fatal Model X crash last month. NTSB spokesman Chris O'Neill released a statement saying, quote, At this time, the NTSB needs the assistance of Tesla to decode the data the vehicle recorded. In each of our investigations involving a Tesla vehicle, Tesla has been extremely cooperative on assisting with the vehicle data. However, the NTSB is unhappy with the release of investigative information by Tesla, end quote. I'm unsure of how or why the NTSB is surprised at this, as Tesla has always been on the side of transparency in every one of these situations that's occurred. To deviate would be seen by many, rightfully, that they had something to hide. Elon then responded on Twitter to this, saying, quote, A lot of respect for NTSB, but NHTSA regulates cars, not NTSB, which is an advisory body. Tesla releases critical crash data affecting public safety immediately and always will. To do otherwise would be unsafe, end quote. And lastly for this show, we end with a weird Twitter exchange between Elon and a reporter from The Information. Amir Afradi reported that Elon has taken the reins of vehicle production over from Doug Field, who I'd mentioned earlier this show, whose responsibility was both the head of production and engineering. Elon took umbrage with a fairly clickbaity headline and responded saying the following across two tweets, quote, can't believe you're even writing about this. My job as CEO is to focus on what's most critical, which is currently Model 3 production. Doug, who I regard as one of the world's most talented engineering execs, is focused on vehicle engineering. About a year ago, I asked Doug to manage both engineering and production. He agreed that Tesla needed engineering and production better aligned, so we don't design cars that are crazy hard to build. Right now, though, better to divide and conquer, so I'm back to sleeping at the factory. Car biz is hell. End quote. I'm not looking too hard at this either, as it's not as though Doug was jettisoned from the company. Elon is known to have an extremely hands-on approach when he feels it's necessary, and this is no exception and no surprise either. Make sure you check out the links to the full stories in the show description. While you're at it, please consider supporting the show financially through Patreon at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Thanks very much to our super patrons out there supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dorian Steve Guberman, Bruno Quidici, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Raymer Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Robert Healy, Mitch Long, and Zortec LED Canada. If you can't support with dollars, be sure to share your love with positive reviews and subscriptions on YouTube, iTunes, and other services across the internet. That's it for today. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. I'll see you all back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.